Linenwood. I originally I was really against it. Um, I thought it was going to cause a lot of problems with kids and drinking and drugs and loudness and all those classical things you might be worried about with college kids. And we bought the house. Our realtor knew that the expansion, the, the improvement expansion, was coming up West Main, so we figured the neighborhood would be improved. So that's one of our selling points in the house. We had no idea the time Linenwood was coming in. The residents, <coughs> the, the, the ladies who lived in these houses were as sweet as could be, but they were poor, couldn't really maintain their houses, and I mean they had sheds falling down and they always had problems, and I was trying to help them out as much as I could here and there, And um, but yeah, they were really dilapidated, and to see the, the neighborhood improving so drastically, so fast, it's, uh, I don't know, it verifies everything my wife and I had in, in our minds whenever we moved in here, that this was going to turn into a great neighborhood. A few years ago there was a lot more crime. We've, we've caught people doing drugs behind our garage and stolen purses in our trash and people walking up and asking my five-year-old daughter for money and you know scary stuff and since they moved in and renovated I mean everything is fine. Everything's great now. It's like the town I grew up in. 180. Complete 180. I am a huge proponent of it now and love our neighbor kids and talk with all of them and they run over to help my wife with groceries and play with my kids and I mean there have been a lot of accusations against him but each and every one of them is completely completely false so I've had absolutely nothing but good dealings with every one of the kids and when they first moved in um, I was one of the nosy neighbors types eavesdropping on conversations and really watching and making sure those kids are going to do something. I'm going to do, I'm going to catch them doing something. Mm -hmm. Couldn't. In fact, most of the conversations I used our phone was about family, future military careers, baseball, grades, um, religion, sense of duty, that kind of stuff. So that really impressed me. Mm -hmm. And then one night I introduced myself and they welcomed me over and that was it. Next thing you know, I got kids on my doorstep every other day saying hi and hey can we borrow this and hey do you want some of this and